Well, good morning guys, we're on another adventure. I've loved the salmon fishing so much, I decided to give it another go. The only problem is, city here put out a lot of rope and they've quarantined the entire river from the fish ladder all the way down to the lake. It's their property, they can do whatever they want to do with it, but I've got another plan and we're gonna try to get this thing going. What they're worried about is that there's gonna be a bunch of people showing up fishing salmon it has nothing to do with the health of the river there's plenty of salmon this is actually the most productive river coming out of lake ontario there's between five and fifteen thousand fish coming up here which is completely insane they've got it roped off on this side they've got it roped on that side all the way up so you can't access this little strip here to get inside the river and the same thing going all the way out to the lake. The only thing they've left open is the boat launch. Thinking here. So what I did was I called the MNR and I said, hey MNR, they're the ones that run the show as far as the fishing goes. So the river itself is not closed. And again, this is not being closed because of the health of the salmon. This is being closed because the city itself doesn't want all these people to come here and seemingly infect everybody. My city, there is no cases at all. The chances of me being infected is almost zero. As you can see, this rope goes for kilometers and kilometers all the way up. The MNR has stipulated that the river itself can't be closed and it's not closed. The city itself does not own any part of the river bottom. That's considered property of the crown, crown land, and we are crown land. So while I can't access the river from here, I could from a helicopter or a float plane or a boat. So what's gonna happen is Jeremy's gonna meet me down and we're gonna go to the mouth of the lake where the boat launches and we're gonna see how far we can paddle up. So we got the wild crafter, he's here. He's all set to go, we got the big red canoe all the way from up north. He's pretty excited to get out again. He said he didn't sleep all night because he was dreaming about fish. <laughs> There's actually a couple of boats hanging out just in here fishing. One guy up the way just had a fish, but there's no way we're getting out in the harbor here, so it's gonna be canoe all the way. But sometimes you gotta do it, man. When you wanna catch a fish, you gotta, you gotta make it happen. <laughs> Ooh, she's windy. Yeah, she's windy. Hang on. Just wondering how long it's gonna be before people start asking us why we got waders on. There's obviously some other people who figured out the hack here, so they're fishing in boats. We're gonna go, we're gonna fish in a boat until it's uh, too shallow to fish in a boat. We're gonna see how far we can get before somebody starts yelling at us. It's closed, you know. No, the river's not. You just closed all of the trails up and down, left and right. Closed the beach, you closed everything. Can't even fish right here off the pier. It's crazy. Okay. Actually, for anybody to get close enough to shout at us about being in the river, they would have to trespass on the riverside trails. It's true, but there's some condos that might oh, overlook yeah, yeah. it and they'd be like somebody hammering on yeah, the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's somebody down there. We're up on one of the driving bridges. Yeah. Hey. We're, we're going to have it all documented. We're doing it 100% legally with the canoe. They cannot stop us. What we're doing is ethical, legal, moral, and smart, and, and, and smart, ingenious. and genius, there we go. All right, let's get in the water. Woo, big lake, big waves. Big wave. She's a little far gone, that one. What a nuisance just to make everybody bring a boat out here. <laughs> you know, next weekend, it's gonna be all full of boats in here. <laughs> Once people figure it out. So far, so good, we ran into, um, some city workers, they gave us the thumbs up, reluctantly maybe, I don't know. They're a bunch of kids, they just kind of smirked and laughed. So it's not a, an official kind of contractual uh, okay on doing this yet. Uh, we saw some salmon just rising up in here. Jeremy's doing an awesome job getting us almost to the bottom. We're getting pretty close here. Are we going to bottom out here? We might. Now we're going to get through. All right, let's get up. Let's find the first hole that we can fish. And we're going to stick close to the canoe. That's the trick. Jerry and I are gonna stick close together too in case we get some Karens that might be angry at us, shouting obscenities or phoning bylaw. But we're ready. In order so we don't tip the canoe and lose everything, we're just gonna walk from here. <laughs> we're not gonna paddle upstream. Nope, gotta go higher. We'll lose our fishing permit. This is our fishing permit for this whole area.
we'll end up going down probably. If we want to go down, I can try to go around. I can't really get around. Them. Well, there's no wrestling these guys in. <laughs> Can't do much with this. No, you just wait. It right? just goes where it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't go downstream. Yeah, we're going down. Try to get him up on the shelf if I can. I didn't like you no much. I didn't like you. Oh, stay. Oh. Oh, I gotta watch, I don't get spooled. Well, we're going on a ride, guys. We're going on a ride. Scared to be slimed, eh? No, you'll be all right. Just hold on tight. Keep, keep it on the bank. <laughs> but there's no bank here. Just make, once you get around the, the, just hang off for dear life. I got good grip. With a bit of slack at the front, because that's when the tail kick. Hey, you guys need to here. Yeah, we can. <laughs> You're the one trespassing. We're cool. I called the MNR. We're all good. 100%. This is Crown Land. Yeah, we got our canoe there. Canoe right there. We paddled up. Yeah. I call, honestly, I call the MNR. This is all, it's all crown here. We're all good. I, I made sure I. Yeah, no, sorry. I didn't know if you could see it or not. Yeah, it's just right here. We're smarter. <laughs> We won't! <laughs> you ready there, Jer? Yeah. I missed my whole fight. <laughs> there we go. We good? Yeah. <laughs> First one. You want this, Jer? Yeah. You're gonna eat it? Yeah. All right, let's uh, dispatch it and we'll bleed it. He's a tough one. Should I do it? All right, this is a heavy rock. That wouldn't last to do that. Oh, the other side. Okay, I see what you mean by cutting through the gills now. And then, and then put it right in the water. That'll bleed her out. Yeah, our canoe's right there. We're on Crown Land. I called the MNR. We're all good. 100%. Port Hope owns there. And there, this is all crown. This controlled by the MNR, and the MNR didn't close the river down. I called them last week when you guys were thinking about implementing it. So I said, "What if I take a boat off?" He's like, "There's nothing you can do. As long as you got a boat and you're on the water, you're all good." Well, this is all crown here. It's all controlled. All, anywhere in the watershed's all crown. Yeah, but the bylaw controls the city. City property, you're on city property, we're not. This is controlled by the MNR, all watersheds are. Lakes, ponds, rivers, everything. Grand River in Guelph. You walk up the river, you're in somebody's backyard, they start shouting at you, can they get you off the river? They can't, right? Because if you're in the watershed, it's controlled by a different body altogether. The city doesn't have power to police this. It's not, you can't close the river. You can't close, but you can't close the river. This is the river. It's all owned by the crown. We all own it. Call them. When? Um, it, was, it was late last week. Before you guys put the, the Port Hope put it in on the, the December, September 1st, that you guys, we're contemplating put it in. I called the day before. 
and asked them, is that the day before or the day after? We're from Guelph, he's from North Bay. We're not going to any stores, we're not going to talk to anybody, we brought our own lunch. We're going to, we parked down there, we paddled up, we're going to paddle home. Same deal, we don't have to go into the shops, we're not exposing anybody to COVID, we're all cool. You know, well I didn't talk to him in our business. at one bridge up to the uh, the viewing station, right? The fish sanctuary is at the whatever bridge up to the fish uh, the fish ladder. That it's not that's controlled by the MNR. That's closed all year is to that fishing. The Jocelyn Street Bridge. Yeah. Okay, so MNR closes the fishery north of Jocelyn Street Bridge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what Port Hope tried to do this spring. They tried to do the same thing and close the river off, but they couldn't. They talked to the MNR. The MNR said, no, but you can do this. You can rope off access points, including the boat launch. So this spring, there was no fishing in here during the, the uh, rainbow run. If you, if you Google search, if you search up the spring press release, media release, it says right in the media release that they couldn't close it. They couldn't close the fishery and they wouldn't close this um, if it wasn't for COVID. So it's only for COVID, right? So it's to reduce as much as they can foot traffic. They can't eliminate it because they don't own the river. Just Nobody does. A minute to throw this guy on ice. Check, check. There's an article on the press release. If you Google search Pote Hope, the spring, it talks about how they specifically cannot cl close the river. Where what? Is that you're right on foot along the river bank? Well, your I'm only... You're only the boat in the of the water. So, so the MNR covers anywhere where the water normally or could touch. That includes right up to the rocks here at any time of year, not just today. So technically, once we get on top of the rocks, we'd be out of the river, the normal watershed. But we're in the normal watershed right now. As long as we don't get up on the rocks, then that's municipal property, right? Port Hope owns this. They own the trails all the way up, left and right, all the way up. They all own that, right? They control it. They want to close it, they can close it. They can't close the river bottom down. They can't. They can't close the lake either, right? They can close the boat launch, they own that. But they don't own anything else. I don't know what else to say, that's my case. And, it, and it's legit, I researched the heck out of this thing. Where, where is your view? Right here. Right. Yeah. Do, have you seen? I hear you. I know. I I get it. <laughs> I understand. I know. I don't know what to do. Like we're we're fishing here, and we know people are going to be like, "What are they doing?" But it's an education point. It's an education thing at this point, right? If you want to come talk to us, we'll talk to them. So, hey, we're on. We're we're legit. Unfortunately, like we're legit. For them, I mean, for us, like, whatever. I don't know what to say, man. It's, it's like we pay for a fishing license, right? And this only happens this, this one time a year. And then it only happened in the spring. We lost the boat launch. We lost the whole spring run. I mean, what do we pay our license fees for? It's for this, so that we can access this and fish. I got caught in mouth so bad. I hate getting in trouble. I wanted to make sure I had at least the law on my side. So they're going to try to get a hold of someone from the MNR, get confirmation. We've got a guy over here on the bridge recording us. Oh, my mouth is so freaking dry. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but I'm, pre I'm prepared. Can't argue that. So I was just chatting with the media guy up there. He's filming us the whole time. He's already written his story. Two men ticketed for violating city bylaws fishing. Um, but the, the police are, uh, they're talking with the sergeant. The sergeant's going to do some research. We spoke with them. We verified that we have a right to be here. They verified that that is true. And so they said, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. That's, that's not a small victory. That's a major victory. Yeah. Well, for I don't fishing. And the police officers who have to enforce city bylaw, where there's like a, 
because they don't know about natural resource violations, right? Right. Uh, so they just get told that there's people trespassing because that's what the public thinks. <laughs> Losing sight of the purpose of closing the river to begin with, which is to prevent the spread of COVID. There's only two people down here. There's more people upstairs than there are down here. Yeah. So the, the uh, police officers are talking to the media guy. The media guy's now, he's gonna blast this across to all the stations so that people stop calling about us. They took our name, address, phone number and everything. So the next phone call they get, they don't actually have to come out anymore. They're That's just right. gonna be like, nah, we checked them. They're legit, they got special status through the YouTube. <laughs> is, that, is that how? <laughs> no. They've got special status through the Crown Lands Act. That's right. This as is, do all Ontarians this and is, Canadians. This is our land. This is our land. We pay fishing money, tag money, license money to fish this water. So you can't take it away unless they, unless they, they control the MNR. And uh, they're the only ones who can do it. So, hey, we, let's get fishing. Yeah. Let's get another one. You heard what I said? Yeah, yeah, we you should. Um, oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, we should. Lots of people watching. The smart people, we can clue it together. The dumb people, they can call the police and waste their time. Oh, he's going for the... Uh-oh. We need to watch it going to go up. Oh. <laughs> he's off! We're on. These things are like rocks. They don't. They don't go anywhere. No. Watch out, Jared. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. You didn't want to come up shallow. No, I don't believe it. All right, he's gonna go down again on me. Wait, wait. He might stay. No, nah, he's gonna go. <laughs> Ready, Jer? Yep. Here's your chance. Oh. Nice one. Hey! Nice fight. We just talked to your other guys there. I came out here. No, we don't. We have to be anywhere where the water could possibly ever go, normally, which you would include up are to you the. Are you honestly going to argue about us right now? Because the GRC has closed the riverbed. You're standing on dry land right now. Yeah, the GRCA hasn't closed the riverbed. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. I talked to the MNR last week and they said it's all open. They closed it as of Tuesday and they closed the GRCA closed access to the land. The river is open, the land is closed. Yeah, but the. What if you see water up here? It's part of the riverbed. It's part of the riverbed. It's under the definition of the river and the valley. All right, well, we're going to give you guys tickets and then you guys can argue for it. Now. Um, we haven't please. gone. We haven't gone up on the on the city property. This is all. It's all city property. No, it, this isn't city property. The city property ends at the trails. Get, get your, uh, we just talked to the police officers. Well, I'm telling you that we're trumping them. But what, they, they talk to your sergeant. I don't rank the people that you talk to. They okay. talk to the sergeant. But you were, you were in the, you were in the, you were in the water. No, we weren't. We were right here, just like we were talking to you guys. It covers the high water mark of the river and prevents arguments like this with property owners. We should dispatch this fish. We're just gonna take care of this fish. Go ahead, Jared. Yeah. How do you wanna to go to court to fight it? <laughs> not so much, right? Like yeah. he's gonna come, I'm not going up there to ticket me. No, no. And you can wait till we're done fishing. Right? Yeah, we could meet him at the boat launch. Sure. Maybe after this one, we just want to leave because we're getting a lot of harassment, even though, as far as we know, we're perfectly in the right. Could they give us a ticket when they already okayed it, right? Like, they, they took our information down and everything. Yeah. I got a picture of them. Yeah. Like, it won't be a clear picture, though, but... 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fish, fish number two. Yeah. And uh, complaint number two. It's like every time we catch a fish, the, the police yeah. show up out of the nowhere. Well, I'm sure they've had like 25 complaints. Oh, at least 25 complaints. I feel like we um, we got the good cop, bad cop treatment because the first guys were patient. They listened to us, they verified with their upper command, and then they said we were okay, but these guys just came in shouting. Oh yeah, they wanted a match. Right off the, right off the hop. And they seem to have disappeared right now, but I'm sure no. they're, they're gonna come back. I saw their hats, they're up there. They, they claimed that because we weren't like in the water water or on, in the boat boat, that we were uh, somehow not in the watershed anymore, which is exactly not how it works. Yeah. Because it, this could dry up to a trickle, but if water normally comes through here, then you're legal. Yeah. Right? The, it, it's a high water, they, yeah, high water. High water mark, and it's bank to bank. That's how they get around the issue of like dry season, wet season, because you can't have the boundary fluctuating all the time. But the banks typically stay the same. That's my understanding of how they define yeah. a river. They needed to come up with some kind of definition. What are we going to call it? Are we going to call it? You know, water, mm -hmm. you know, because what if you step out of the water for two oh, just, seconds yeah. while you're fishing onto and then a dry rock. Yeah, onto a dry yeah, onto a dry rock in the river bottom. So as you can see, there's no there's no place we can be down here and be trespassing unless we're up on the path. Yeah, you gotta cross the um, the reason that there are these walls here is to keep the river from flooding into the town, right? It's exactly that's the purpose of the catchment. Yeah, yeah, so it's 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 exactly defined. The watershed is exactly precisely defined here by these walls. She threatened a, t a ticket on both of us, so and they said we're gonna have to fight in the court. So, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna, are you gonna fight it or pay it? It's uh, a mission of guilt if you pay it. Yeah, so you have to fight it, right? I guess so. You just show up and you do your day in court. How are you liking Southern Ontario so far? It's <laughs> a little more dramatic than uh, what we're used to up north. That's for sure. Are those guys waiting in the bushes till I jumped up on the land? Seems like they were. Uh, maybe, they just, eh? They just shot out of the woods there. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we're not really paying that much attention. Pretty noisy down here by the water, right? Well, you can't watch everything. Everybody's watching us. No, I'm watching the fish. Are you watching? You're not watching these people up here or uh, like, those people down there? I give them a glance every once in a while. That, Most of them are curious. They're, they're curious of how's, how we're getting away with this. Maybe. It's a it's a puzzling situation. Yeah. All well, you guys probably think it's a little stupid to come out here and do it. Maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, I think it's in the spirit of our rights. If you uh, don't fight back a little bit or find the loopholes, then come next spring they're going to show up the boat launch down again. Got a fish there, Jer? No. Just a rock. A rock. So we're going to catch one more, I think, and then uh, we can't leave without catching a fish. Well, I had a couple of them on. Yeah, they're hard to land. The scar that I saw on the other one would have been a lamprey scar, right? Eh? Jerry, how does that feel? Uh, pretty awesome. Join, join the join the 22,000s with the new rod. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fight for an old rod, but hey. Yep. It's fun. That's your first, is that your first one? Yeah. First salmon ever? First one, uh, no second. I caught one when I was a teenager. Yeah. This is the first one that I landed. It's like the fourth one I hooked today, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. So, They're big fish. Yeah, yeah. It's and huge. You, you got a, you you got a, a lamprey. Yeah, you had a hitchhiker on them. <laughs> if, they come, if the police come back again, they come back again, whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we made our point. Not that we're just trying to make a point. <laughs> I just want to fish. And this is it. Like, I'm going north. I'm not going to be able to do the salmon fishing anymore until I get back. And then the run's going to be over. So who doesn't want to have a relaxing paddle up the river? Oh. They're everywhere in here, guys. You guys see that? Look at that. Everywhere. Stacked up. Huh? I know. We went all the way up though. Yeah? Okay, yeah. You we walk talked, up there? Talked to the cops twice. And? Nothing. They can't do anything. We're in the water. Yeah. So Catch it, me if you can. It, well, <laughs> it's legal. As long yeah. as you're in the as long as you're in the river, it's yeah, you're good. Absolutely. So graceful. Maybe. All right, so Jeremy's gonna take home a mess of fish, three, probably three by 20 pounds, 60 pounds of fish. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't uh, send you home with five because then you'd be set for a lot of meals. Yeah. 
I'm we, already going to be set for a lot of meals. <laughs> yeah, you can't, don't try to eat a filet in a meal. No. They <laughs> portion it off to fours or fives. Yeah. Just for what you think you would eat, and then you'd have enough to double up or whatever if you have guests. We, but, uh, uh, you're good to go. We cooked a filet with my parents and my sister. So that was me and my three kids, three other adults. I think we ate half of it. Yeah, it's a lot. And then, and then uh, you have leftovers. It made more meals, yeah. Yeah, you mix it up with mayonnaise and have a fish sandwich next day. Yep. Yep. Salmon sandwich. I got to figure out how to get those sneaky bones out because that's what I found is the, like there's no the, ribs, but then there's the, yeah. the ones you got to pin, fish pin them bones. out. Pin bones, yeah. Pin bones, yeah. It's pretty easy. You can feel it. There's a row or you could just eat around them. But yeah. It's nice to pin, pull, pick them all out. But yeah. if, if, apparently, if you put it overnight in the fridge, you can pull them all out. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. There's a all tip right. for you. Good times, dude.